What's up guys and welcome to another top 500 guide video. This time we're going to be on Arissa. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So first things first with Arissa, you always want to be aggressive with her. In my opinion, that's kind of my play style with Arissa. Just be super aggressive on the tanks and make sure you own the playing field. What I mean by that is say if this is like a tank right here, say if he's the tank, right? You always want to just pressure him out of position. Say if he was like pushed up here, my team's like right here behind me. You always want to just use your E, push him out, right? Use your E and then javelin them after the E. So you always just want to cause a lot of pressure on him and make him not able to play the game, basically. If you're against a Zarya and things like that, it's going to be diff more difficult to do that because Zarya kind of counters Orisa. But you can't do that against Sigma, Reinhardt, people with shields like a Ramacha as well, things like that. And you can just pressure them out of the fight and your team can get a lot of control of the map. And that's mainly what you want to do on Orisa. You want to have control of the map. So say another example is say if there's a tank here and your team's like up here, down here, then we can't really do much with this amount of space we got, right? They can only go over here. My team can only go like right here's walls, right? So what you want to do is pressure the Sigma out or whoever it is. And then, you know, obviously throw a javelin at them. And now look at, say I'm right here. And look how much space my team has now. They have over here, they have over here, up there, up there, up there. Like there's so much more space and so much more opportunity for your DPS and your other teammates can do to get kills and to just be overall a better better team. I got the McCree here, focus the McCree a bit, and I'm gonna try to go after the Mercy. Gotta shoot the Mercy while she's resting. She's wild, but okay, I got her anyways. I feel like they're out there, so I'm gonna go contest this. See Diva, I'm just gonna push her back, push everybody back basically. Use my shift as well. I can stand still here. Hit McCree again. I'm not gonna push that because there's a Lucio, he will boot me off the map. I'm gonna hit her out of the res though. About to use my wall here soon. They did all there's a Bastion behind us though, so I'm gonna go after the Bastion and just ignore the tank behind me so I can kill the Bastion. And now I'm gonna try to stay alive here. Try to javelin the Mercy, I got the Mercy. Even though she did res, now I'm gonna go after the Bastion. Bastion's dead as well. I'll go after the Lucio here. Lucio, 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 got the Lucio. Go back, go get the Rissa now. Javelin's up. I missed Javelin, but that's fine. Try to hit a Mercy out the air. There we go, I got her. Got a Mercy pick here, so I'm gonna push in a little bit. I'm gonna try to hit the Reaper out of position, so I get him out of there. Put some pressure on him so he can't kill our teammates. Or me. I'm gonna see Reaper. Reaper doesn't have no Wraith anymore, so I'm gonna throw a Javelin at him, kill him real quick, go back to D.Va. And then kill the D.Va. That's fine. Go around. Try to get the Mercy now. I can just hold him. That's fine too. Try to get the Mercy as well. Mercy should be dead there. I stand there with by himself. Got a soldier as well. Gotta get the junk now. I got the junk as well. Hit the Lucio off the map. That's easy. Every time when Lucio's off the edge of the map, you always want to try to javelin him just to push him off the map like that and you get an easy kill on Lucio. Keep the sleep. Wait for the charge to travel on him. I knew he's going to charge. Kill Ryan real quick. You always want to wait until Ryan starts to try to charge you and then you can just spear him like that and just cancel his charge completely. When it's in overtime, we have all. It's very good. With some with Arissa, you just want to go on card like this. Just hold your all so everybody has to get away from your all or they're going to die just like that. And you should get the point pretty easily after that. Just kill two people with my all. I'd always recommend doing that. Always when it's in overtime mode, you just have your ultimate and you just sit on point with your all and they can't really do anything to you because your teammates are healing you and everything like that. So. Just easy kills and they have to run, run away or use Suzu at the right time, which he tried, but I knew he was going to use Suzu, so I waited a bit until he used it and then used my own. There's his anti and low. I'm going to try to push up to him a little bit. 
He's dead. I'm going to save my javelin for the mercy res just in case she tries to res. Obviously. And there it is. She's just going to try to res and open. Don't know why, but... I do have ultimate. I'm going to wait until... There are the alts. Actually, I killed her, so it's going to be easier for us. Kill the... Anna that was running away from me as well. I'm actually going to go after the soldiers. The soldier is going to go after my teammate. And now I'm going to go focus on the Baptiste I was originally going after. Saving my ultimate for the Arisa ultimate. And as soon as he places it, I'm going to place mine. Go almost full charge so I can hurt him really bad. And now just focus the Arisa. And he's discorded, so it's going to be an easier kill for me. His teammates don't feel him, which they are. I'm just going to step back, try to pin him against the wall and push him back a bit. Now, the Arisa has their ultimate. You always want to keep track of that. When you're facing another Arisa, so I'm going to wait until his ultimate goes off and then I'm going to all next to him and build up my charge first. That soldier to the right. I'm, so, I'm going to push him on my E. There you go. He's out of here. He's dead. Nice. I'm going to try to try to javelin the Zen if I can get close to him or where we're flanking. I javelin the Arisa first, actually. Got two. See if I can get another one. Let's go over here. Set on top of a point if you're all just in case. And there we go. When there is a soldier and a soldier and a soldier in on the enemy team, you always want to try to get as much space as you can on the map. Just like any other kind of DVS. You just want to be playing pretty aggressive against them. Just to push them out of positions that they would be in otherwise. Like up here, I'll be pushing the soldier from behind. Even though his team's behind me, I can still kill him with a six spear and then i'm just gonna drop down and help my team again i'm gonna push the sigma just to so get away from my team so you can rock me and no one else you see how my team's pushing him now because he's getting low hp because i'm pushing him look out for the anna as well i'm gonna try to spear her if i can there we go that was a little six spear she's almost dead but can't quite clean her up almost dead my teammate's going to get her i finally got her sigma's still behind us remember that so i'm gonna push him now I'm going to keep him at bay. I'm just getting in his face, block the rock, still get in his face with my armor. Hit the soldier as well. Try to hit the soldier at least, but I got the here go. I'm getting nano, which is crazy, but that's fine. I'll just keep pushing in. Got the whole team. As you can see, I'm playing super aggressive towards them. I hit, I got him off of high ground first, and then go after, my t after the team afterwards and just go after the squishies and keep the tank at bay all at the same time. Try to put my E so my teammate doesn't get hit while their Sigma's doing it as well. It's kind of a counter to it. Oh, there goes my Tracer. I'm just going to ult here since their old team's here. I'm going to hold it. Held it. Got two of them. See if I can hit Sigma out the air. If I wasn't in my ult, I would have hit Sigma out the air when he was ulting. Got the Soldier as well. I'm just going to armor here and try to push the Sigma out of the way. I'm just going to keep staying in his face so he can't hit my teammates as much. I'm going to push them a bit. Make sure they're at bay. So keep pushing them back. Hit the soldier in order to Anna. I got the Anna with that. I'm gonna shift the rock again. Always try to shift the rock. Wait until Sigma uses his shift so you can just sustain the rock. For the most part. We did get a pick, so I'm gonna push up a little bit. I'm gonna try to hit the Anna before he sleeps me. Fortunately, he did sleep me, so I'm gonna get hit with that rock. I'm gonna push my E so the soldier can't hit us with her ultimate, and I'm gonna drive on her into the wall so I get her out of the fight real quick, and then go on to Anna. And now back over to the Sigma that's in the front line and not paying attention to his teammates. I'm trying my best to push them away from the cart at this point. I'm going to wait until my javelin comes up and have my E ready. Just in case they do touch, which they're not able to. And it's another easy W. So that whole game, I was just paying attention to the Sigma and making sure I use my shift ability, which is my armor ability. To basically not get hit by the rocks and not get stunned by him. I can just stay my ground and then keep pushing into him. Every time when he used his shift ability to suck in the damage and get more armor from it, I used my E ability to try to push him out of that. That's another good rule. You always want to counter their abilities, like the tank abilities of your own as Arissa. It's very useful. Basically keep him at bay. I'm going to try to push him out the way. I'm going to keep getting keep creating space with my team i'm gonna javel in them as well if i get anti i'm just gonna step back a bit so i don't die i'm gonna e again into him e right into him push him on point so my team has more space again 
try to drive on that widow, but can I reach her? It's actually in the trap. Okay, he charged me, but that's fine. I'm just gonna armor up and then push him again. I'm still gonna push him out of the fight, so he can't do much to my team. I'm still gonna keep focusing the Ryan since he's almost dead. Here we go, it's easy kills. I'm gonna push in here. Try to. Ooh. Where's Junkrat? Try to hit Junkrat. There you go, Junkrat's dead. Try to get more now, he has no fade. Keep breaking shield. There you go, that was on Ryan, so it was easy. E into the sleep so I can't get hit by it. Kill the Ana. I just start to clean up now. Call him up the stair, up the elevator. Jab on the Genji. I'm just gonna keep pushing him. He's gonna dip out of here. Armor up on the Junkrat when you're near him. Each and every time. I try to push him up, he's dead. Try to kill this Orisa since he's actually very low. I can kill this Orisa here, maybe. Got the Orisa. My teammate got a good headshot on him. Someone somewhere to the right, which is Genji. Try to javelin on him. I'm gonna create a lot of pressure here since their tank's dead. I'm always gonna stay with my team. Always keep the heals strong with your team. Make sure you stay alive like that. You could easily die in there from Junkrat. Trying to get my all as fast as I can. Someone's going to my right, which is Genji again. So I'm gonna drive him into the wall, kill him real quick. I'm gonna push back in on the Zarya. I'm gonna keep getting in Zarya's face so she can't do much. Try to drive on her. I did miss, but that's fine. As long as I'm causing a lot of pressure. My team can definitely use the entire map right now. And that's what we're winning off of. And we just got the point. Try to go after the Ana that's alone over here. Use my E on her so she can't sleep me. Use my armor up as well so she can't sleep me again. Eventually I'll kill her. There we go. She's dead. Now I'll get the junk behind this. Also going to cause a lot of pressure. Take the health back from him. Javelin him on his face. And now I'll go after the Zarya. I'm, trying to, I'm gonna try to get heals from my team though. I'm gonna step back and hit. I'm gonna hit the Moira away from their Zarya. Make sure you wanna do that as well. Just javelin her out of the position. I tried to save my Hanzo, but I couldn't. Try to javelin the Ana that's in the back line. Just throw a little javelin on him. Mess him up. Now Zarya's a huge counter to the Orisa, so you just it's gonna be way harder for you to actually do anything in this game. When there is a Zarya, you just gotta play smarter than her. Try to go after the Reaper. I'm gonna press E here, so I think Zarya's gonna grab soon. Maybe not. Okay. Save my E for Zarya's grab. I know she's gonna grab 100%. I'm gonna try to grab now. I'm gonna try to ult now, just like on top of her, so she has she is forced to use things. There we go. Try to get out of position. Got Namora. And yeah, I just wanted to ult Zarya there a little bit just to pressure her out, see if she'll use grab, which she didn't. She's just going to save it for next game, I guess. <laughs> Even when you get countered by Zarya, you can still drop 20 kills in one death. Just because I played really well there and I just pressured her out a lot more than she can. As long as you keep map control as Orisa, you can win every game as Orisa. Just, you just got to pressure the enemy out of the positions and let your DPS handle the rest when they have map control. Yeah, that's my top 500 guide on Orisa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit that subscribe button also with the bell icon so you can see all my notifications every time i upload and yeah hope you guys have a great day and or night and peace